In her book, The Hiding Place, Corey Tenboom, who of course ended up in a Nazi prison camp, tells of an event that took place when she was 10 or 12 years old as she traveled with her father on a train from Amsterdam to Harlem. She had stumbled upon a poem that had the words sex sin in it, in the poem. And so seated next to her father in the train compartment, she turned to him and she asked, Father, what is sex sin? He turned to look at her, she said, as he always did when answering a question, but to her surprise, he said nothing. At last he stood up, lifted his traveling case from the rack over their heads and set it on the floor. Will you carry it off the train, Corey? He asked. She stood up and tugged with all of her little 10-year-old might and she couldn't move it. It's too heavy, she said. It, it was, by the way, filled with watches and spare parts and all kinds of things that he had purchased that morning. It's too heavy, she said. Yes, he said. And it would be a pretty poor father who would ask his little girl to carry such a load. It's the same way, Corey, with knowledge. Some knowledge is too heavy for children. When you are older and stronger, you can bear it. For now, you must trust me to carry it for you. She writes, and I was satisfied, more than satisfied, wonderfully at peace. There were answers to this and all my hard questions. For now, I was content to leave them in my father's keeping. It is ever more so with our heavenly father, isn't it? There are questions we ask, certainly, that we do not understand. Folks, there are answers to all those questions safely in his keeping. And we can be content always to trust God's keeping of our answers until we need them, until we are able to bear them. For he is a promise-keeping God.